Is point-to-point -point wiring better than a printed circuit board? This question comes from Gabriel all the way in Montreal, Quebec, north of us, very much north of us. Cold, beautiful, but cold. Um, Gabriel writes, I read everywhere that point-to-point -point sounds better than a PCB. Uh, from a technical engineering standpoint, is there really a difference between point-to-point -point and PCB? Thanks for your answers, Gabriel. And by the way, why aren't you more active on the do-it-yourself scene? I know you must already be too busy with PS Audio, but you would make such a nice mentor for hobbyists like me. You know, something in the likes of what Nelson Pass does? I guess I had to try and get you to do it. Oh, thanks, Gabriel. Nelson Pass is uh, one of my heroes, and uh, I, I have a great respect for Nelson. He, um, he uh, has enough time to be on the do-it-yourself forums all the time. It's not that I couldn't, and I probably should at some point. I think it's a great suggestion. I get spread a little thin uh, lately, and I'm trying to reserve some space for myself. I do a daily video, I do a daily uh, podcast, you know, it's sort of the same thing. I do a daily blog post that I've done for seven years called Paul's Post, um, for those of you that subscribe. And, and then I run this company and I have a family and grandchildren, all of which is, is busy stuff. I mean, gosh, this, just even this morning, uh, we got up early, I answered all my emails, I wrote a post, Terry and I hiked up to the top of Flagstaff Mountain, uh, which is, eh, it takes us about an hour and a quarter to get up. It's a good steep, uh, it's a good steep climb. And then all the way back down, got a little bit of lunch, a quick nap, and here I am doing videos. <laughs> but. Having said all that, it's no excuse. Uh, if it's really something I want to do, then I, would, I can make time. There's, uh, I, I never want to say that I don't have the time to do anything because that's just horseshit. I mean, we all have the time if we want to make the time. That's how I manage to do these videos. It's how I manage to write my book. Um, but uh, to be quite honest, I have decided that in the the extra space that I want to create to do something, um, I want to write another book, actually three books, which is a trilogy from this wonderful idea I have for a thriller. So it won't be a memoir. <laughs> it's enough of my life, truly. Uh, anyway, so that's what, in the, in the time that I'm going to allow myself to do more uh, than just, you know, daily videos and podcasts and all that stuff, I'm going to set out to write um, three new books and I'm, I'm pretty excited about it because the subject is near and dear to my heart, climate change uh, and how we as humans act and I've got a great plot that you're going to love. A little science fiction-y, but that's okay. I think you're going to enjoy it. Um, how do we get off on that? PCBs. Well, let's, let's look. So here's a PCB, printed circuit board, and you can see as I get up close to the camera, and I think you can see, the, these little copper traces here, that's what carries all of the current. So years ago, before printed circuit boards, everything was point-to-point -point wiring. Every radio, every stereo, every tube circuit, everything was point-to-point -point wiring. We didn't really have printed circuit boards, so we had just boards with holes drilled in it and parts go through it and then you'd wire one wire to the next and all that. The military came in and said there's a better way to do it. Whether, I think it was the military or NASA. Somebody came up with the idea of a printed circuit board and it, it allowed for better manufacturability because it's more consistent. We can control the size of the traces, i.e. the wires, uh, and I can manufacture that board a hell of a lot quicker than I can a point-to-point -point wiring board. And, and today, in our modern day, it would be impossible to do the complex circuitry that, that we use, even, even in something like this, uh, to not have printed circuit boards. It's just a necessity. But that said, to answer your question, 
point-to-point -point wiring is always going to sound better than a printed circuit board for most audio applications. It's just not all that practical. As, well, and we can't do it for anything digital. Just, just literally can't do it. But for older analog circuitry with discrete stuff like vacuum tubes, big stuff, big resistors, big capacitors, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty confident it would be better sounding than through a printed circuit board. For example, in this, this is one of our power plant regenerators, it's the P20. You probably can't see too well inside, but, and I'm not, st this thing's on, so it's only 120 volts, but you know. Actually, this is a 240 volt unit, and I can see the red cables that are powering it. So definitely don't want to stick your finger in here, but, um, in here, we have solid copper bus bars, and they're, they're, quarter inch thick and big. Now we do, and, and that's better than point to point wiring because instead of just using, you know, heavy gauge wire, we're actually using big bars of copper so that the impedance is just as low as it could possibly be. I mean, it's, we don't have any equipment around here that can actually even measure that low of impedance when you're using a big, heavy copper bar. And we do that because we want extremely low impedance where it counts. But the rest of this, it's all printed circuit boards because we literally couldn't do it any other way. So yes, definitely it would sound better. And I know you're a do-it-yourselfer, so if you're building a tube circuit or something where point-to-point -point wiring actually makes sense, do it. You'll be very happy you did. All right, thanks. Great question.